Business owners in the Gaza Strip have joined a press conference held by the Palestinian Ministry of National Economy to express anger over the latest Israeli attacks on factories and companies in Gaza. Dr. Raed Al-Jazar, the ministry's director of general industry, said Israel aims to destroy Gaza's infrastructure, therefore destroying the local development process in the Strip. Such a move would endanger the local economy as 30% of Gaza's goods are provided by local factories. Damage done to our industrial sector has amounted to about 30 million U.S. dollars so far. We cannot count all the damage done to the factories because our engineers and technicians are not able to reach all industrial facilities that have been targeted. There are factories that have been badly destroyed and it may take months, perhaps years, to return to normal production. Within a week of the military operation, Israeli aircrafts have bombed many shops and factories. The targeting of Gaza's weak industrial sector will cause a major economic crisis beginning with unemployment in Gaza, which exceeded 45% before the beginning of the conflict. We were surprised to receive a call from the Israeli army informing us that they would target our factory. This place is the only source of livelihood for myself and for more than 30 other workers here. I do not know why they decided to bomb our factory and what damage our factory has caused to Israel. It is our workplace. We earn a living here. On Monday, Israeli warplanes destroyed Mashariq, Gaza's largest advertising company. Mashariq was home to a large number of Palestinian artists, creators and young talents. Losses sustained after our company was bombed were very large, estimated at more than 2 million US dollars. We lost everything in the company's warehouses. In addition to all our printing machines, the company's studios were also destroyed. We have more than 60 employees working here and now all of them are out of work because of this bombing. They've lost their livelihoods. Economists say Gaza's economy will take years to recover from the impacts of the devastating airstrikes, which as of Thursday have left thousands of homes, factories as well as thousands of acres of farmland in ruins by Israeli tank shelling and airstrikes. Nurharazin CGTN, Gaza.